Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you for stopping by and welcome to yet another GovPlanet related video. I don't know why, but these seem to be the only ones that get any significant amount of views on my channel. There seems to be some major infatuation with GovPlanet, and I understand it's a cool website. It's interesting. You know, buying a Humvee is a fun process, but also a challenging process. And these are uncharted waters for a lot of people. Myself included, uh, when I was a young 22-year-old Kevin247 who just wanted his first Humvee. The first place I turned was good old trusty Facebook Marketplace. And I typed in Humvee. Well, actually, that's incorrect. I typed in H1 Hummer, and then I realized that those were way above my pay grade. So I decided to type in Humvee instead to see if I could get a better deal. And lo and behold, there was only one Humvee for sale within a hundred miles of my location. And it was a little old lonely M998 and it had been painted black with a, you know, what, what the guy admitted was a Mako paint job. It was not a bad looking Humvee, but very basic. It had a canvas top, it had canvas doors, really nothing had been done to it at all. The guy told me he would use a Bluetooth speaker for sound. Nice person, but not exactly a SEMA build, if you know what I mean. And he was wanting about $25,000 for it, which may seem like a lot, but it was the only Humvee in the entire area. So he didn't really have any competition. Let's just say over the years, now 29 year old Kevin 24 seven has seen a lot of changes. And YouTubers, I think like myself are partially to blame or maybe mostly to blame so I apologize and many people let's just say have caught on to this whole Humvee secret and started buying them up left and right and as a result Facebook marketplace at least in my area is completely saturated with Humvees like there is pages and pages of Humvees presumably from either people who resell them professionally for a living or I think the more common case is people who buy a Humvee realize that they don't actually really like you know riding in a brick with no air conditioning and decide to sell it a year or two later. The Humvee secret getting out has also changed the dynamics of GovPlanet in a lot of ways. You know you used to be able to get very cheap Humvees off GovPlanet and you would go and tell your family about this cool new truck you bought and they were just astounded and they'd say how much did you pay and you'd say five thousand dollars and their eyes would just get big and they could not believe that they were selling these vehicles for so cheap well even by the time i started getting in on the trend unfortunately they were already more than double that on average depending on what kind of truck you get and you know which repairs you were willing to make but for a running truck you could expect to pay over ten thousand dollars in most cases uh, unless you got really lucky now there was definitely a time in my life where I recommended up and down eight ways to Sunday to not bother buying a Humvee on the private market and go through GovPlanet and do the work yourself because you're going to save a lot of money. You know, there's a lot of predatory type practices of buying these Humvees and marking them up a ton of money and profiting despite doing hardly any good work to them or any maintenance and you know any due diligence and you know just in general you're going to pay a huge premium for somebody else's Humvee because you know they feel that they deserve the amount of money for going through the Gulf Planet process and doing the hard work well that's definitely changed because these people have so much competition now so they may list the Humvee and try and you know at least get what they paid for it but there's so many other Humvees that are also for sale and you know, when these people's wives wants these trucks that are leaking oil out of their driveway, they got to do something. And really the only thing to do is come down in price. So it's a competitive market now, at least where I live in the Midwest. And amazingly, a lot of the Facebook Marketplace Humvees are selling for cheaper than the current GovPlanet auctions by sometimes a factor of two to $3,000, maybe even more. Better yet, a lot of these Facebook Marketplace Humvees actually have street titles. Now, I don't know if these people, you know, it, it, there's a variety of ways you can obtain a title. A lot of them probably did the process themselves. Some people probably just use Dirt Legal. 
some people may be the second owner of a Humvee that already had a title. But the titling process, for those of you who have looked into it, can be quite difficult and depending on your state may even be completely impossible. So being able to just leapfrog over that entire hurdle is definitely a positive. Another thing is when you use Facebook Marketplace, you actually get to look at, touch your Humvee, start it, listen to it, drive it, make sure it shifts through all the gears, feel the brakes, make sure the pedal isn't soft, test the parking brake, test your lights, you know, listen to how long it takes to start, all of those things. On a Gov Planet Humvee, you get a description and plenty of pretty high detail pictures, admittedly, but you're not allowed to do any of those things. You just have to take Gov Planet for their word. And even Gov Planet doesn't do a very over the top testing on any of the trucks they sell. They do what's called a limited function check, which I presume basically just involves starting the truck, putting it in drive, and then putting it in reverse, making sure the brakes function. And I seriously doubt they're you know, driving these things all the way around the block and making sure the steering's tight and all that stuff. I don't think that's part of a limited function check. You gotta remember, quantity over quality, they're trying to get rid of these things and there's literally thousands of them. So all that being said, I've made a lot of videos about how to buy a Humvee from GovPlanet. I've made a lot of videos about street legally in your own Humvee. You know, I've made videos about the pitfalls of GovPlanet. Uh, it can, it just goes on and on and on. These videos are really popular, so I kind of am, am obligated to keep making them, I think. But at this point in time, if I could choose between Gulf Planet and Facebook Marketplace, I think there's a high chance I would actually buy my next Humvee off of Facebook Marketplace. Gulf Planet actually isn't that bad to deal with, and from my experience, they're really nice people. But, you know, there's just a lot of paperwork you gotta go through, you gotta mess with your you know, EUC, end of use, um, that can be anywhere from five to nine months, possibly even longer. You gotta wait on your SF-97 to come in, and that document is absolutely critical to make a Humvee street legal. Um, I'm not sure if it's a requirement of dirt legal, but if you are gonna do the, the street legal process yourself, it's definitely critical. I've gone into this in some older videos. You also gotta pay the extra fees when you win a Gov Planet auction. You know, from my experience that's like a thousand to two thousand dollars depending on tax and you know just whatever fees that that you know you're gonna be hit with. I can't remember all of them. And then last but not least you gotta arrange shipping and that can easily be a thousand dollars depending on where you live and where your Humvee is coming from. And it's also you know a bit of a process to coordinate that and make sure you're working with a reputable shipping company. And of course, you don't know if your Humvee could be damaged in shipping, or you know if the people are going to hot rod it or something. You, it, there's just a lot of unknowns. And as I touched on earlier in the video, you could go through all of that lengthy process and then get your Humvee and realize that there's a serious issue with it that wasn't necessarily disclosed by GovPlanet. And, you know, you might be able to fight them on it and, and dispute things, but more than likely you kind of agreed to buy this thing, you signed the paperwork, and my assumption, luckily I've never had to go through this, but my assumption is you're probably going to be stuck with it. Um, you know, I've heard stories about people who buy them and they realize their motors are pretty much completely done and, you know, their rings are absolutely shot on them, the, the cylinders are scored. Um, you know, serious transmission issues. In fact, my current Humvee is starting to have a few transmission issues and I, I, I hope I can fix them, uh, but I'm not really surprised or angry about that. You know, it's just part of buying something sight unseen at an auction. So at the end of the day, which one would I recommend? Well, I think to the average normie, and I don't mean that as an insult, I just can't think of a better term, I really would just recommend Facebook Marketplace. Um, there's a whole lot to learn when it comes to the GovPlanet thing. It can be intimidating and, you know, partly for good reason. Facebook Marketplace is simple. Almost everybody who's into cars has bought a car or, or a motorcycle or a lawnmower or something off of Facebook Marketplace. And, you know, there's not much to it. You meet the guy, you do a test drive, you ask him questions, you talk him down, and you come home with the Humvee. Also, it's instant gratification. You don't have to wait literally half a year or more to you know, be able to drive or even look at your cool new toy. You get to literally drive at home, assuming it's running and driving, or at least trailer at home. 
There's also less of a uh, question and unknowns if you buy a street legal Humvee. You don't have to go through that whole process and worry about anything that goes into that. And if you have a little bit of extra coin saved up, maybe you can buy a Humvee that's already partially or completely finished. And, you know, you can buy a slant back or a hard top or, you know, anything like that. Um, Gov Planet, you can buy that stuff too, but it's going to be the military spec for the most part. You know, sometimes it's nice to hum buy a Humvee that already has an interior put in it. That's, you know, they've done a good job or already maybe has a bunch of period correct parts, if that's more your kind of thing or already has 40 inch tires or whatever you're looking for. Generally, anyone who's been involved with the car or motorcycle world knows that mods don't ever add to the value of whatever you're going to sell. So a lot of projects go up for sale, Humvees included, that have a lot of great mods and you still pay for basically the base truck and you don't really have to pay for all of those extra mods, assuming the seller is reasonable, of course. Now, would I recommend you stay away from Gov Planet? Absolutely not. I've worked with Gov Planet a lot. Uh, I don't have any kind of sponsorship from them or anything like that. But I've bought two different Humvees from Gov Planet now, and both experiences, quite honestly, were exactly what I expected. And they were really good. Um, dealing with the Gov Planet people was awesome. They answered all my questions. They were always very knowledgeable and and very polite. Sometimes you had to wait on hold for a pretty long time, but I think that's to be expected on a massive auction site like Gov Planet. So to conclude, at the end of the day, you just have to do what you want to do. Um, I think the process is going to be a lot easier and a lot more stress-free if you go through just the good old Facebook marketplace. And at this point in time, it might even be cheaper overall. You know, the big incentive to use GovPlanet in the past was you would spend sometimes less than half of what you would spend buying a Humvee on the private market. Uh, in 2024, that's just not the case anymore for most states and where most people live. You can spend only slightly more, the same amount, or maybe even less going through Facebook Marketplace as opposed to Gulf Planet. On the other hand, some people just want to do everything on their own, and that's perfectly fine. I, I lean towards that side of the spectrum, and I don't know why. I think it's probably to my detriment. But, you know, a lot of times I've heard if you want to do something right, you got to do it yourself. And I don't necessarily want to buy somebody else's work or somebody else's truck. Um, but logically, there's probably nothing wrong with doing that. So classic Kevin 24-7 ended with the wishy-washy wishy answer. I didn't really point you one direction or another. But I hope this exposed the facts, and I'll just say I have totally changed my stance. There was definitely a period of time, like I mentioned, where I would steer everybody towards GovPlanet. That is not the case. I'd be more inclined to steer people towards Facebook Marketplace, but not completely rule out GovPlanet as an option. As always, I hope this video was helpful. I hope this was factual and you learned some things you didn't already know. Uh, please feel free to leave comments and ask me questions. I'd be happy to answer them or at least you know keep up with them as much as I can. And uh, also feel free to discuss amongst yourselves. There's a lot of great people who watch this channel and are already subscribed who are probably more knowledgeable than me when it comes to GovPlanet and the whole process. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you can like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.